today we go over Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the sequel trilogy. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, J.J. Abrams will be the man responsible for the final film of the Skywalker saga. It is a huge task that J.J. must get right, and that must be right for a majority of the Star Wars fans around the world in order to make this film a success. Now, looking at what happened with The Last Jedi and Ryan Johnson and the criticism and the backlash it received, I feel like that J.J. really, really has to knock it out of the park for this movie. Now, we've been learning a whole lot more about these mo this movie these past couple of weeks when it comes to, of course, Billy D. Williams coming back on board as Lando Calrissian, Mark Hamill is back as Luke Skywalker, and yes, even Carrie Fisher is back as General Leia, where J.J. is reusing footage from the four Awakens that was not used in the finalized version of the movie. Now additionally, aside from all of that, J.J. Abrams will be doing something very special for the character of Luke Skywalker in Episode 9. And this also, I believe, connects to what Colin Trevorrow was originally going to do in his script for Star Wars Episode 9, and it's really leading a lot of people to believe that maybe J.J. Abrams adopted the idea from Colin Trevorrow, and that may be the center piece of Colin's script that is transferring over into JJ's script. Now, in case you guys didn't know, Colin Trevorrow has stated before in the past, well before his firing by Kathleen Kennedy and Lucasfilm, etc., that he was going to do something very special for Luke Skywalker and Leia. The Skywalker twins would have had a very great moment in the movie. Now, this also raises a question. The, the fact that J.J. Abrams is going to be doing something very special for the character of Luke in Episode 9, could this have some kind of connection to that of Carrie Fisher portraying General Leia? Could they cut up the footage in a certain way, perhaps, where Leia sees a Force Ghost version of Luke, her own brother, or maybe they could actually have a flashback sequence between both Luke Skywalker and Leia. They could do numerous things as long as they have sufficient footage to actually work with. Now, what I think is going to happen here is that I think that JJ is going to offer more backstory to Luke Skywalker. I think it was from Pablo Hidalgo a couple of years ago when The Force Awakens was out. A lot of people were asking him about the flashback sequences, and he said, this is only getting started. This is just getting started. That's what Pablo Hidalgo, I believe, said for the flashback format in Star Wars you know, episode 7, episode 8, you name it. Yeah, it's just getting started. So, episode 9 will for surely use this format in the movie, and perhaps J.J. Abrams will be using that special treatment of Luke Skywalker in the form of a flashback. Now, I don't know what J.J. is going to do, what the special treatment for the character really is. Could it maybe perhaps be something completely unexpected, like I said? Something a little outlandish, like maybe to the point where a Force Ghost Luke can use an actual lightsaber in combat against his own nephew, Kylo Ren. I mean, after all, he kind of did hint it in The Last Jedi, you know, strike me, down, strike me down with anger and I'll always be with you, just like your father. So that little line of dialogue right there could very well tell us that Luke is gonna have a lot of scenes with Kylo Ren. What I personally would love to see is a different take on Luke Skywalker, something similar in a sense to what we saw in the Legacy comics, which are now, of course, legends. They're from the EU, in which Luke essentially torments, not, you know, it's not intentional, but Cade Skywalker, his descendant, is feeling tormented by Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost always being around him, reminding him of his bloodline. And Cade Skywalker would always eat the Death Sticks in order to keep the Force Ghosts away. So the Death Sticks essentially prevent a Force Sensitive, I guess, from seeing Force Ghosts in their own line of sight. So, if they want to do something like that in Star Wars Episode 9, where you have Luke Skywalker essentially haunting Kylo Ren, how would you guys think about that? You know, what would you guys think about a scene where Luke Skywalker is haunting Kylo Ren? Now, to me, special treatment for Luke Skywalker, where J.J. is doing something very special to the character, would 
absolutely be giving him an action sequence. I mean, come on. I mean, this is something that a lot of fans out there want to see. Whether it's, you know, him in a flashback or bringing him back to life in some way. I don't know how they would, but in some way, maybe the Wills can bring him back. But... Nonetheless, I think that this special treatment for Luke, it either has to be something to do with an action sequence, or B, it's a moment between Kylo Ren and Luke Skywalker. After all, Mark Hamill has said before in the past that he wishes that there's an evil-esque Force Ghost version in the future Star Wars films. And maybe Mark Hamill is getting his wish where he gets to play a Force Ghost where he torments one of the villains in the Star Wars movies. That may sound pretty ridiculous to some of you guys out there, but to me, I think that if they performed it pretty well and kept it pretty brief and short, if they had Luke Skywalker essentially, you know, kind of throwing these facts at him, constantly hanging around with him, for a scene, reminding him of who Anakin Skywalker really was, teaching him a lesson where Kylo Ren can't just shove Luke away, that to me would be pretty cool to see, for sure. But anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.